This video is long overdue, approximately 18 days overdue, because I meant to do this new year, but then stuff happened, finals got delayed, I had to write a final in January, worried my butt off, wondering if I passed the course, and then I passed the course, so that I'm officially gonna graduate in May, hooray, but uh, my life story can wait for another time. Um, anyway, this is a video that's basically about me in 2017, like my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel, basically what's gonna happen for year of 2017, or at least uh, the early part of 2017. I'm not really too sure about uh, what happens after I graduate, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, I'm right now I'm in the period of, I guess I'm officially a NEAT, and if you don't know what that means, it's basically uh, stands for not in employment, education, or training, because, uh, yeah, I'm not taking any courses for this semester. I'm just pretty much gonna consider this, uh, semester my life break, my celebration of graduation. I, I will be trying to find some employment in the time, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now. Anyway, uh, let's talk about my YouTube channel first, and then we'll go on to my Twitch channel. I want to go over everything that's probably going to happen with me, what you can expect from me this year. So first of all, let's talk about the existing content. Um, number one, we'll, let's start with side stories. I know I upload a whole bunch of side stories. Uh, let me just say this is for School Out of Tomodachi, like the, the website. Um, I usually upload side story videos, and then sooner or later, usually later, um, they get uh, embedded in the particular card. Um, so if you were to search up on Squad Tomodachi a particular card, if there was a side story associated with it, most likely it would be linked to my video. Probably like 99% of them are from me. Um, but I do know that they get pretty annoying. Um, or at least your like subscription feed can get pretty annoying. Uh, when I just cough up like 20 of them in a few days, but it just really can't be helped. But in terms of my channel, I what I plan to do is when I upload a side story, like a whole bunch of side stories, because that usually happens at the end of events, um, just because there's a whole bunch of new content um, to record and upload. I will upload them, and then maybe like a week later, I'm just gonna put them as unlisted videos. What that means is they won't be visible publicly on YouTube, uh, like through search, and they won't be visible through, you know, just going through my videos on my YouTube channel. You can view them through my playlists. Um, I will keep those updated. So if you wanted to, like, look for a particular side story of, say, like, Umi, go look at the Umi playlist, or maybe there's a particular set you want to see if there are side stories for, then you can just look for the set name. Um, that's pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, next is, I guess, my full combo videos. Those will still be coming out, um, hopefully a day or two after the song release. Um, I try to get them on the day of the song release. It's just scheduling, and if I'm lazy or not. Um, now that I have a lot more free time, then I expect them to be on the day of the song getting released. Nothing much left to say about that. I'm gonna focus on the master songs um, that come out on the Japanese version. Um, those are the most interesting for me, at least. Um, the expert songs no longer really intrigue me enough to record them. I've recorded a whole bunch of expert songs in the past. Hopefully that's enough. Um, maybe if there's a whole bunch of requests for a particular expert song, I'll upload it, but not too big of a deal. Anyway, that's existing content. Um, talked about. Now, let's talk about new content. So, I mentioned in my Haneo Scout video that I was gonna make a team builder guide. Now, I know, like, uh, Aaron Cerise is working on one that's to be released very soon. PM. I know this because I was helping her out with it, but then, uh, we're actually gonna collab on this, but, uh, scheduling and whatnot got in the way. In the end, we just decided, uh, we'll make separate stuff. So her, her guide will be 
I guess very elementary introductory stuff. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be all covered in like one large video. Whereas for me, my my approach is gonna be a series of very short videos. And I know, like, if you know me, my definition of short isn't really that short. I'm gonna try to keep them like 10 to 15 minutes long at max. At max, all right. I'm gonna time myself. Hopefully I don't run too many tangents, but um, there is a lot to talk about ever since the 4.0 update and introduction of skeletal skills, um, your skill changes, you know, optimizations and all that kind of stuff. But my kind of series will be more about the technical mathy stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of um, high end end game um, optimization, um, that's a, a series to look out for. Um, I expect uh, those videos will come out on a weekly basis. I'm not sure how many of them I will do. Um, it honestly just depends on how much uh, actual mechanics that I can go over. Uh, but expect that maybe late January, early February. And yeah, okay, that's my new guide series. I'm going to be focusing on team building for the most part. Um, other stuff, uh, if, if news comes up, like interesting news, not like boring news, like Today, um, we got like a 4.2 update on the Japanese version. Um, nothing too interesting about it, like at least in terms of gameplay. Kind of just UI improvements, stuff like uh, quality of life changes. You know, like the LP changer stays changed um, when you leave the screen, so you don't have to like choose um, like 100 LP every time you want to play a four-time song. It'll just stay that way until you manually change it. And there's other stuff like. Uh, change your members um, when you're picking the team for your live show so you don't have to go to your member list change your team and then um, you know go back to the song and just like swap a member in and out as you please pretty convenient and I think the last one is uh, you can remove members from your practice without actually going back to the member list uh, I think there's a I think that's it I think there's also like live show sorting um, based on stuff like attribute uh, subunit uh, star difficulty and all that kind of stuff. But again, it's nothing too from drastic in terms of actual gameplay, so um, I guess it doesn't really warrant a separate video from me. Anyway, um, so I'm dabbling with a few new series because I do want to produce more YouTube content. Uh, that is my promise for 2017. Uh, I, I didn't neglect uh, YouTube for the most part by the end of 2016, but that was just because, uh, you know, how school goes, just gotta study for those finals and whatnot. But um, again, now that I'm a neat, at least for now, um, I want to cough up as much content as possible before I disappear forever, um, where, whenever that may be. But uh, so series number one, which I don't really have a clever name for yet, but maybe you guys can figure up a clever name for me. Uh, leave it in the comments if you can. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm taking people's accounts and I'm gonna scout for them and. and caveat here is I'm paying for the scouts. So so basically like instead of me whaling on my own account because that's boring, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna take other people's accounts and I will whale on them. Um not not too much. Like basically just a t ten plus one. Consider it like a giveaway. Like random people will win ten plus one from me. I will go into their account and I will do a ten plus one on their account. And I will try to make stronger teams. Um, than what they already have. So it'll basically be like 50% scouting and then 50% team building. And I think this is a good balance because people like scouting videos and, and people like, I guess, getting educated. At least I like educating people about mechanics. So this is a win-win because, again, I'm not scouting on my account. I'm, I'm scouting on other people's accounts. You guys, your accounts. How, how do you become a contestant in this, like, new game show of mine where I just scout on your account and, uh, try to optimize your teams? Um, I will get to that shortly. That, that regards my Twitch stream. Um, but yeah, I will get to that shortly. So that's, that's a, a new series that's coming out, um, right now called Scout for Someone, which is a really terrible name. Um, if you have a much better name, I would love to hear it. I'm actually thinking of, like, maybe, like, Pimp on My Idols, because if you... You heard of like Pimp My Ride, which is like a show where basically they take someone's 
car and they, you know, they, they pimp it out. Uh, kind of the same thing I'm doing here. I'm gonna take your account, see what idols you have, and then I'm gonna scout on your account. Um, and then I see if I can pimp it out, make it stronger. Okay, next is potential Oshiman challenge. Because uh, it's the new popular fun way to play. And if you don't know what Oshiman is, uh, it's basically like an alternate way to play. Um, school Idol Festival, where uh, you have a, bit, a bunch of restrictions based on like um, what character you pick at the beginning. It's basically like you can only have cards of that particular character. I think you get to pick one from Muse and one for Aqua, or like maybe it's just just Muse, just one Muse character or just one Aqua character. There's a lot of variations to it. Uh, I might do something like that. Uh, I'm not too sure. I did get the Taiwan version recently, so instead of like doing it on my English or Japanese account, I think I'll do it on like my Taiwan account, even though I don't really have a Taiwan account right now. It's just a rank 2, just sitting there, getting free gems and whatnot. I have actually have picked my Oshiman ahead of time, so uh, I'm not really looking for suggestions for that, but if you have any guesses, you can leave them in the comments. I, I do love a good laugh. Uh, you'll, you'll never guess who I pick. But now that I said that, you'll probably guess who it is. Uh, anyway, um, that's pretty much it for a new series. And then one more thing is, I'm considering bringing back Mobile Monday um, on YouTube. If you didn't know, like Mobile Monday was a sh like a really short series I did last year, at the beginning of last year, where I kind of went over or like, I played uh, different Japanese mobile games. I did Starlight Stage and Battle Girl High School. Um, but then like, unfortunately, both of those videos, like, they got muted for... <laughs> for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure Scar Starlight Stage got muted because like, one of the songs was copyrighted. And then Battle Girl High School, surprisingly, also got copyrighted because that game uses like... Um, music, like open, not really open source music, but like source, like music you can buy online, um, with like, like music companies. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking of bringing that series back where I play some more like obscure Japanese mobile games. Um, tell me if you want to see that. It's gonna be different this time around. Last time they were really long, like videos close to an hour where I play a whole bunch. Um, this time I'm just thinking maybe like really short 10 to 20 minute um, introduction of the game and then just just showing off some gameplay and, and just my general thoughts of, of the game. Now, nothing like very exuberant like last time. And yeah, that's basically it. Oh, I guess the last thing I want to say is uh, for the YouTube section is if you have any suggestions for me um, as for like maybe new series on YouTube I can do, or maybe there's a particular kind of um, topic you want me to discuss, school idol festival related, love life related, um, or you know just basically any kind of criticism you have, you can say nice things, you can say uh, hey you fucking weeb, um, go, go, su go suck a schlong, <laughs> I, I don't really take offense to that too much, you know I, I've become jaded in my 24 years of life so much that your, your internet comments don't really phase me too much. But, um, play nice. Play nice with each other. It doesn't matter if you play nice with me. Uh, anyway, um, let's, let's move on. I already spent too much talking about the YouTube side. Let's talk about the Twitch side, because honestly speaking, I consider my YouTube channel a side thing. I really want my main thing to be, like, Twitch. Um, let, let's start from the beginning. So, I started streaming School Idol Festival more than two years ago now, and, uh, Honestly speaking, there's been a lot of progress towards, you know, making School Idol Festival, like, a known game on Twitch. Way back when, like, I was the only one who actually streamed the game. There were a few others, like, later on. Um, but they've more or less kind of phased out. There's still... Some of them still are around. But, but recently, it's getting getting more popular. And uh, all my extra live streams, I'm sure, are most definitely helping the cause. And K-Lab, um, K-Lab Game Station, also streaming the game, also helping the cause. And I'm quite recently, the 
like the game thumbnail for school idol festival got changed from the pink question mark the purple question mark excuse me um to like actual showing of like um the love life characters so i consider that progress i think at that point um twitch has acknowledged that school idol festival is an actual game so I feel like it's now or never that I, I try to, you know, go, like, deep, if you know what I mean, ladies. Um, go deep and try to reach my end game goal. <laughs> and honestly, my end game goal is trying to get a Twitch partnership um, using School Idol Festival exclusively. So, um, recently I've gotten 4,000 followers on Twitch, which is actually quite stunning, um, yet... I honestly don't feel that accomplished. Um, honestly, just because I don't even see like one percent of my, I, I guess, YouTube subscriber base on a daily basis when I stream on Twitch. So that's gonna change. I'm gonna make things change. I'm gonna make it so you wanna come watch me stream, and we're gonna get to that. So first, talk about Nell. Um, Nico equals Love Live. Um. Good friend of mine, you could say. Good acquaintance. Good business partner now. Um, Nell is basically... If you haven't heard of Nell, you probably have. Like, I'm pretty sure if you made a Venn diagram of my subscribers and his subscribers, there'll be like a majority overlap. But if you haven't, um, go check out his uh, YouTube channel. He does scouting videos. He's a supreme hyper whale. Um, he actually pays for a whole bunch of other people to scout on their channels. His his modus operandi is basically try to spread um, love across the lives. Or something like that, you know, just um, wants to bring the community together, do good for the community. And way back in December, he actually approached me. Um, he offered to, you know, pay for my scouting for like Devil Umi. I'm like, dude, you know who I am? I'm I'm a I'm a retired whale, so paying for my scouts isn't really doing me a favor. Instead, like I suggested that um how about we just give away the scouts? Like I'll I'll be the avenue for which the scouts will be given away, you know, like So this ties in with my series on YouTube that I mentioned before where I just scout for other people. So I want to use my Twitch streams as an opportunity to, you know, have people win 10 plus 1 scouts. And that's basically what we're going to move on to now. The the great Umida sells out so he can try to get a partnership plan. There's probably a better name for that, but let's go with that right now. Um, Yeah, so in partnership with Nell, uh, he's going to be fun, like sponsoring this endeavor. He's actually sponsoring the, the annual tournament as well. I've neglected to mention that, but I wasn't really too sure uh, until recently. Um, but yeah, it's been confirmed. Um, he'll be helping out with the funding for that as well. But basically, uh, how I'm gonna do this kind of giveaway on my stream is... You, you go to my stream, you, you watch it, and then the longer you watch, the more, I guess, points you get. Um, I will call them Loveka on my stream, but do note they are not actual Loveka you will be getting in the game. And then, once we reach a certain viewership count, um, I'm thinking 100 plus concurrent viewers, then I will open up the giveaway, at which point you can enter using your earned Loveka from the stream. I will make a separate video, um, discussing and explaining this whole giveaway system but that's a, just a brief overview uh, and the reason I want to do it this way is number one um, I don't want random people just coming for the giveaway and then like leaving so that's I guess reason number one for having like a viewer minimum viewer requirement is that um, most of my viewers will be coming from my YouTube uh, subscribers and my Twitch followers. Most of them are just kind of like, a, again, a Venn diagram that just overlaps, but... Uh, number two is... 
is for loyalty purposes, is that, like, if you watch the stream longer, you should have a higher chance of winning. So, you know, you should get more points um, to enter. So, basically, like, I'm thinking every, maybe every five minutes, you'll get, like, one Lovka in the stream. And then, when you have five Lovka, you can do, like, a solo, YOLO, as the hip kids call it. And, yeah, you'll have a 1% chance of of winning um, the 10 plus 1. So basically you'll do a solo YOLO on my stream and if you win, then you win like the 10 plus 1 and there will be um, one potential winner every stream um, based on this system as long as we reach the viewer count. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty simple, straightforward. It basic, it's a system that rewards people who watch longer and then it prevents people who just you know, we'll just come for the giveaway and then leave afterward. Because I want to, again, I want to build a community that's School Idol Festival centered, and that's why they're going to be 10 plus 1 Love Gem giveaways, and they're not going to be gift card giveaways. Because if I do gift card giveaways, then there's the potential for people who play other mobile games to just come in here, like, like, you know, and try to win and use that winnings for something not School Idol Festival related, so I don't want that to happen either, so. It'll be basically, again, I will make a separate video outlining the whole system once I have it, like, completely worked out. You might be, I guess, concerned if we can actually get 100 plus viewers every stream. Honestly, like, I'm not too sure either, so we'll experiment. And, the whole reason I need 100 plus viewers every stream is that's pretty much like the Twitch partnership kind of requirement. Like you need Twitch, you need like triple digit viewers. I'm watching you every stream um, to have a chance. Now I have sent partnership um, submissions, like applications, in the past. Uh, they keep telling me my channel is growing. Keep it up. Um, you know before. I used to get the generic, um, oh, over, over millions of, over millions of, uh, people apply every day for the, uh, Twitch partnership, uh, but, uh, you, they're not good enough, but messages I'm getting are, I guess, not kind of automated. They're like, oh, we, we've noticed your growth, um, unfortunately we can't, up, um, offer you at this time, but we encourage you to keep growing. And what this basically is telling me is that you you need more viewers, and I'm gonna sell out to get more viewers. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Get no like. Uh, I, I'm not the kind of person who's gonna lie to your face. I'm not gonna be like, oh, uh, I want you to watch my streams because uh, uh, I love you all. But that's that's not a lie. I do love you all. But um, I, I'm just being upfront with it. I, I I want the partnership because I think I can do a lot with it. Lot a uh, lot of good. A lot more good for the community. I know I've done a lot of good for the community so far. Um, I don't think you can deny that I've done probably the most for the community. Uh, not me, like, humble bragging. I think that's just a fact at this point. So, is it too greedy of me to want something in return? Anyway, if, if I do manage to get the partnership, um, a lot more avenues open up for me. So, it would be nice if you guys could, you know, help support me in that endeavor and in return i will do 10 plus ones on your account <laughs> that's basically it i want to go over anyway the last thing is before this video gets way too long is um i guess scheduling um because in the past my streams have more or less been at night and again that's just school's fault that i can't stream at normal times but now that i'm a neat i can actually stream at normal times so i'm gonna leave a straw poll in the description where you can vote, like, what time would most likely come watch a stream of mine. And, uh, hopefully I can accommodate the majority of you. I don't think it'll be, like, the same time every day. Because, again, I, I'm gonna, for the first like, week or so, I'm gonna try to experiment with different times. To see which times get more viewers, which times get less viewers. And then uh, I will, I guess, stabilize a more, um, concrete schedule. Uh... When that, when I, you know, get enough data, but I will, tr like, generally speaking, on weekdays, I will have them 
guessing in the afternoon, evening time. For the weekend, they might be a bit later just because more people can stay up. And one thing that won't change is that for like the end of the event streams, those will still happen. I can't control when those happen. Those usually just happen at like last three hours of the event, so like 10 p.m. PST. Uh, so those event, those um, those streams are just cater more towards people who are like last minute rushing, um, or like last minute trying to secure their tier, and uh, you know want want to hang out. But yeah, uh, please vote in the straw poll if you have an opinion of what what time you would like me to stream. Um, they will the times will be in PST, so keep that in mind. And last thing, like really last thing is, um, for the, for the Twitch streams, I I will only be playing Squire Festival because again, I I want this to be like a school idol festival endeavor. I want Twitch to recognize that School Idol Festival is worthy enough of a game for someone to get a partnership in. I've never felt more motivated in my life. I've never wanted anything more in my life. Because if if we get this, it's not only for me, it's it's for everyone out there that uh, which will acknowledge us as as gamers, do not deny Idle Hell. Do not deny us because we're, you think we're like a casual mobile game. But anyway, I, I'm. I might find a alternative ways to play Squire Festival so it doesn't always become like a boring grind fest. Things I'm thinking of is like again the Oshiman Challenge um, that I'll be doing on the Taiwan server. I might go back to speed running. School Idol Festival, and if you don't know, um, my speedrunning is basically like start with a fresh account, try to get 50 gems as fast as possible, and do a 10 plus 1. Those usually take like less than an hour, and then do the 10 plus 1, and then I just give away the account because I have no use for it. Um, I actually quite enjoyed doing that in the past. Um, I kind of I stopped doing it, but I might do it again now that 4.0 is out. We could probably optimize it a lot better, actually. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I could apply to SGDQ, School Idol Festival, get it more exposure. I mean, I did get um, School Idol Festival plastered on the front page of Extra Life uh, 2016, so anything's possible these days, at least when I'm involved. Well, I guess that pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover. Uh, if you have, like, again, feedback on my Twitch stream, like, things, suggestions for that. Uh, anything, I'll be glad to hear it. If you just want, want to call me, um, mean things because you're having a bad day, uh, that's fine too. Uh, I, again, I'm jaded as hell, so your your comments don't really faze me. Like, you can call my my reproductive tool as small as you want, or you can load about how big yours is. I don't really care. Um, yeah, if you have some constructive things to say, then, uh, by all means. And, uh, I hope we have a wonderful 2017 together. I'm not really sure where the future lies for me, and I'm not really sure how long I can keep doing this, but uh, let's just enjoy the time we have together. 